So let us begin from where we had stopped yesterday. And then, at the midst of midst of terror, came a touch of reason. I must remember to jump when I hit the bottom. I tried to recollect that this is what I have to do. At last, I felt the tiles under me. My toes reached out as if to grab them. I jumped with everything I had. With all the strength, I tried to jump up. And, but the jump made no difference. The water was still around me. I looked for ropes, ladders, water wings, nothing but water. That's what I could find. A mass of yellow water held me, held, sorry, held me. Stark terror took an even deeper hold on me. I was more terrified than ever. Like a great charge of electricity, as if it has taken charge of him in that way, he was, say, totally under fright. I shook and trembled. I started shivering with fear. My arms wouldn't move. My legs wouldn't move. I tried to call for help, to call for mother. Nothing happened. And then, straight, I was coming out of the awful yellow water. At least my eyes were coming out. My almost. Then I started down a third time. I sucked for air and got water. I tried to breathe air, but instead of that I got water. I the yellowish light was going out, and then all effort ceased. All my efforts stopped. I relaxed. Even my legs felt limp, and a blackness swept over my brain. So my Brains and legs also became, say, like lame. It wiped out fear. When I relaxed, when I stopped all my efforts, what really happened is my fear went away. It wiped out terror. There was no more panic. It was quiet and peaceful. Now, this is something contradictory. He had lost all his hope. None of his uh, body parts were functioning. Neither his brain was functioning. And he started feeling peaceful. Nothing to be afraid of. This was this is nice to be drowsy. He started feeling sleepy and that's why no fear came to his mind. To go to sleep. No need to jump. Too tired to jump. No need to jump. It's night nice to be carried gently to float along in space. Tender arms around me. Tender arms like mother's. Now I must go to sleep. He was feeling that he was dying. I crossed an oblivion and the curtain of life fell. I felt that I was no more. The next I remember, he lost his consciousness at that time. And then he says, the next I remember, I was lie lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting. The chap that threw me in was saying, but I was only fooling. Someone said, the kid, be all right, be all right now. Let's carry him. Several hours later, I walked home. I was weak and trembling. I shook and cried when I lay on my bed. I couldn't eat that night. For it was my heart. The slightest exertion upset me. If I took a little more strain, then I got upset, making me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach if I took any pain. I never went back to the pool. I feared water. I avoided it whenever I could. A few, a few years later, when I came, I came to know the waters of cascades, I wanted to get into them. Now, after a few years, he thought that he got rid of his fear and he, when he came to the waters of cascades, he wanted to get into the waters. And whenever I did, whether I was wading the uh, titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rocks, the terror had seized me in the pool would come back. 
so at any place when he would get into the water this terror that was there in him that always say came to his mind he remembered that how he was going to get drawn it would take possession of me completely my legs would become paralyzed on remembering that incident i see horror would grab my heart this handicap stayed with me as the year rolled by i remained in that particular situation handicapped held the years rolled by uh in canoes in many lakes fishing was landlocked for landlocked salmon bass fishing in the new hampshire trout fishing on the duchess and metolius in oregon fishing for salmon on the columbia at bumping lake in the cascades wherever i went the haunting fear of the water followed me these are the places that he tried after that all these places the fear say followed him it ruined my fishing trips deprived me of the joy of canoeing boating and swimming he could not enjoy any of these things i used every way to i knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip finally one october i decided to get an instructor and learn to swim i went to the pool and practiced 5 days a week an hour each day the instructor put a belt around me a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool hour after hour day after day week after week on each trip across the pool i bit of the pan- a bit of the panic seized me each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and i went under some of the old terror returned to my legs froze and my legs froze so whenever say the instructor would relax the hold of the rope what would happen he would again start feeling uh, terrified it was 3 months before the tension began to happen and then say he got less tensed then then got me to put my face under the water and exhale that is the next thing that he learned after 3 months and to raise my nose and inhale these are the two things that he learned after 3 months i repeated the exercise hundreds of times bit by bit i shed part of the panic that seized me gradually the panic that i had that had seized me that had caught me grabbed me gradually i shed that i got rid of that when my head went under water otherwise say when his head used to go under water he used to get terrified next what happened say next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs for weeks i had just that for weeks he just used to say get hold of something on the at the edge of the pool and kick his legs for weeks i had just that at first my legs refused to work but then gradually i command them i could have control on my legs thus piece by piece he built a swimmer so the instructor built a swimmer piece by piece gradually by taking different exercises that are required inhaling and exhaling under the water above the nose then say kicking in the water and when i he had perfected each piece he put them together into when it in april now you can swim dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke that is what the instructor told me i did the instructor was finished but the instructor's work was over but not mine i still wondered if i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool when i was alone at that time if i get terrified what will happen i tried it i swam the length up and down tiny vestiges of the old terror would return small small things the remaining things that were there of the terror would again come back 
but now i could frown and say to the terror i could say frown and tell the terror trying to scare me eh well here it's here here is to you look and off i would go for another length of the pool so he would say not terrified this went on until july april to july this continued but i was still not finished satisfied i was not sure that all the terror had left so i went to lake wentworth in new hampshire dived off a dock at prigs island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp ack island now he this is something big that he tried i swam the crawl breast stroke side stroke and back stroke all the different styles of swimming he tried only once did the terror return and in 2 miles that he swam only once he was terrified when i, I was lake fisher and saw nothing but bottomless water that was when he got terrified a little the old sensation returned in miniature in a small size that old sensation of terror and fear returned i laughed and said well mr terror what do you think you can do to me and it had away the terror ran away and i swam on yet i had residual doubts still I doubts am i still confident in swimming or not at my first opportunity i hurried west went up to say tetton to conrad meadows up the up the conrad creek trail to mede glacier and cramped in the high meadows by the side of warm lake now this is something adventurous that he tried at last the next morning i stripped dived into the lake and swam across and back just as doc Cap capron used to that he was a big swimmer like him i also tried i shouted with joy and gilbert peak returned the echo the gilbert peak where i shouted with joy and the echo echo of it could be heard in the gilbert peak i had conquered my fear of water the experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who ha- have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate those who have had fear and have got rid of that fear they can appreciate the experience that i had in death there is peace there is terror only in the fear of death as roosevelt knew when he said all we have to fear is fear fear you should be afraid of being fearful because i had experienced both the sensation of dying and when he was in the swimming pool and the terror that fear of it can can produce then after that say many a times because of that fear say he had got terror the will to leave somehow grew in intensity at last so the will to leave every person has a will to leave and that grew intense after that at last i felt released free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear and i could keep the fear away from me when i did all these things now you can go through the questions and try to answer them thank you